go guys what is up it's teach here coming at you with another video from lost ark and i'm going to show you quickly in this video how to make yourself a ton of free loot using the providence stones you are already getting so what do you have to do now you can get all of this stuff basically in infinite amounts as long as you're just playing the game now providence stones are really easy to earn all you have to do is run your normal missions and you're going to get a very large quantity of them the question is, what do you do with them once you have them? Now, there's two ways to trade them in. You can go to Nada right here, or you can go to Merchant Ships. Now, in my opinion, one of the best things you can do, especially early to mid game, is go to Nada. Because you can see right here, she has a whole bunch of rapport chests that you can get right here. Um, and that's obviously a good thing. And uh, you can choose these rapport chests with the Providence Stones that you are already getting. Now, those Providence Stones are awesome, obviously, because you can earn some even the legendary items to trade into vendors to earn the stuff that's literally just the good stuff that you need. Um, you can also trade in your Providence Stones for uh, not the Regency Specials, but for skins. Now, if you save up enough, you can get the, you can see this right here, a full skin set um, for the Lofty Sentiment, um, Initial Sentiment, all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, you can earn that from trading in a Donata. Now, you can also earn these things from going into any port and going into the merchant area. And those guys will allow you to trade in your Providence Stones as well. But basically what you can do is, let's say I wanted to, I mean, and this is the best way to do it, by the way. So if you go into your rapport, uh, you want to find your adventurer's rapport. Figure out what region your people that you're trying to sway are in. Let's say you wanted to go to East, Lutera, or East or West Lutera. Figure there's only one in West Lutera. Let's say you wanted to go to Udia or Rethymus, whatever you want to do, figure out which one you want and then purchase the chest that corresponds with that area. Now, obviously, some of these are pretty similar. You can see the Eastern, they're just slightly different, but they're legendary items the same. And then just simply purchase that chest. Now, I'm going to purchase one of these just so you can see what I'm talking about. You can purchase as many as you want and then it'll actually give you that item. Now, what you can do with this as well, and what's really kind of neat about this, with this item right here, um, obviously you can see it cannot be dismantled and it's not tradable, but as soon as you right click this bad boy, you can go ahead and click it up and do whatever you want with it, but you can't select it. It's just randomized chances, which is still pretty good though, because you still have a one in four chance. So Lake Bar Tomato Juice, not bad. I'll claim that all day. So this is how you earn free rewards. And you trade these items into the rapport people and you get their specialty rewards with that. Now, it is very simple to do, and that's that's literally how you turn your Providence Stones into epic loot. It's very simple, and uh, you gotta be doing it because if you're not doing it, you're essentially just wasting free resources because Providence Stones cannot be used for anything else. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. If you don't mind leaving a like, comment below for the algorithm, and then leave a subscribe, that would be awesome. All right, teach.